November 12, 2019. The time is currently 11.12 and I am currently recording this, um, I guess, on the go, more or less, you could say. Um, I'm currently in the Caribbean, so i um, taking care of some stuff. So basically, I am having breakfast at one of my favorite places that I like to have breakfast when I come here and let me just try to describe a little bit of the scene of what is going on um, it's an outside eating area which sits on the lagoon so where I am seated or where the seating area is in general basically we are overlooking the lagoon with beautiful boats we also have a view the nice plush green hills of the island um, you can see various houses um, on the other side as well beautiful coconut trees and I'm surrounded by a ton of coconut trees and this morning I had a sweet bread but this is a French sweet bread um, I think that this bakery is a French bakery it's not our local sweet bread because yeah the sweet missing from the bread but nonetheless it's a very good bread but it's not quite our traditional Caribbean or West Indian sweet bread and there's a couple of patrons that are dining here with me as well I also had a bottle of water and I had me a cappuccino I've only drank like a quarter of it because it's pretty strong which I asked for it to be strong but um, one of the things that comes with age you know when you drink too much strong stuff um yeah it's, it's patty tag <laughs> so i'm drinking that i'm also where i'm sitting to my my left my far left there's um some villas so the scene is quite exquisite it's quite exquisite so any um, noise you hear in the background it's because yes I'm in, um, in a public place but I kind of wanted to share um, a little something this morning um, I recently purchased this book and it's an amazing book it's called two minutes in the Bible through Psalms a 90-day devotional so this is a three-month devotional and it's written by Boyd Bailey and into it is so comforting um, and I was able to pick this up at Ollie's where I live so I got it for next to nothing and I'm so glad um, that I did get it but either way whether I paid the full price or not it's worth its weight far beyond in gold so today's um, devotion reads it says stand steadfast and it reads in the lord i take refuge how then can you say to me flee like a bird to your mountain and that's from psalm 11 verses 1. and i know um i've had many struggles with this in the past when things become difficult i often want to run so sometimes the lord had had to uh, put me in positions where i could not run right away I had to stay and stick it out but today I give God thanks because it has built my stamina but most importantly it has built my relationship and my faith in him through his son Jesus Christ um, I really had a, a very tough life and as I look at my life today because God has I mean God has brought me through oh my God I can't even begin to just to say you know but either way I was gonna still serve the Lord because he's worthy and he's worthy to be praised there's you know there's none other greater than him and I was having a conversation last night and even thinking back on certain things I thank God that I had Christ and also I thank God for my former pastor I had a good pastor but you know 
really taught us the word. I sat under a teaching ministry rather than a preaching ministry. And um, as opposed to so many that may sit under these big mega churches where all they give you is just motivational speeches that last that Sunday, lucky if it lasts up to Monday and then the rest of the week when you're facing spiritual warfare and different circumstances, you know, you have no strength to fight. But when you learn the true word of God, um, when you get the true Bible teaching um, and the true weapons as to how to fight, especially the things in the spirit, you're able to stand, you're able to withstand. And like I said, even though I, my suffering was painful, today God has brought me out of it. And even though while go th- going through it, it was devastatingly painful, I thank God that I had the ability to learn from it. Now, I could have let it break me and destroy me like the enemy originally wanted it to do. Or I could have trusted God as I chose to do instead because mm-hmm. I knew that no matter what I was going through that God was able. You understand that he is greater and that nothing is too great for him. And I chose to trust the Lord. Now will I say that I was always in the best of mood or that I always said the right thing or did the right thing? No, I would not say that. However, I can tell you this much. When I didn't, I knew how to repent and get back up in good standing and keep walking forward with the Lord because I am not perfect. You know, I come from a very broken relationship, a broken home, um, very abusive, you know, um, a family where there was no love. We, instead of you were talked to, you were talked about. And because of that, my relationship is not the greatest with my family, even though I may love them. I truly pray for them. But, you know, the Lord has also instructed you need to separate. Because, you know, it's one thing, you know, to love people. But if people are not walking in that direction, you have to pull back. So, But nonetheless, forgiveness, love, and prayer will always be there. That will never change. Um, I will love them no matter what. I may not like a lot of things they do but I would always love them and even though I get hurt by them I still learn to forgive even though I may not have a close relationship I still love them and I still truly care for them and what happens to them most importantly with their souls and when I look at my life and my struggles comparing to someone that was just spoiled I remember um, I said to myself I said you know what God, I don't want to go back into that struggle. I made certain to learn whatever lesson it is that he wanted me to learn. Because I know that it's something he wanted me to learn. And I needed to learn whatever I could because I was not about to go back into that. And I said, Lord, you know, I thank you that I still have to suffer and struggle like that rather than be pampered. Like some people that just been pampered their whole life. They never grew up. They're old today, some of them are grandmothers, some of them are grandfathers. So in other words, I'm saying they have children who are grown, who have children, and they still are immature, still have not grown up, still are not trying to grow up. And for me, that is a sad, sad situation. And what's even more sadder that the fact is they don't realize that they need Christ, not just they, but we all do. So I give God thanks and I give him all honor and all glory. Listen, I know the challenges might be tough and you might feel like throwing in the towel and giving up, but do not give up. God is able. If you hold on to him, trust me, in due time, in due season, you will reap the benefits. I'm a living testimony to that. Be blessed.